All right, welcome back for what will be episode 22 of this Let's Play campaign. Again, we're playing a Glorious Achievements campaign as the Turks. Somewhat similar to the Aragon campaign that I did before, it's sort of turned into a conquest campaign because the only objectives at this point in the um, in the campaign are based on maintaining homelands and taking territory. So we'll see if more objectives end up coming out. I think we're in the late period at this point. I might be wrong about that. But we'll see if anything changes. Um, the points might come into play. Hungary is still ahead of us and they are outpacing us. So I'm going to have to fight them eventually. But right now we're definitely going to have our hands full with the French. And in fact something I just realized is that now that they're at war with the with the Egyptians it's probably too late. I probably shouldn't have done this or needed to do this one turn earlier. Oh, I can, I can do a, um, okay. So I can propose an alliance here and if he accepts and I still might be late on this, what I'm thinking is I can move my troops in and fight alongside the Egyptians and use them as a buffer for the French force that's approaching. So we'll see if I'm able to get that proposal done. And in the meantime, quick public order check. I know I queued up my production or recruitment for this turn, so. So we got some ships on the way. All right, let's see what happens. Just down to seven factions left. Did not want to be fighting somebody else at this point, but okay, good. So they backed out. So any under our control. Have to check Edissa. Unfortunately, they rejected it. Okay, so that's not going to happen. So, a lot of French troops, and it looks like they're moving everything forward, so... Oh my god, what just happened? Holy shit. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> let's see what's going on here. First thing I'm going to check is this guy. So my Sultan doesn't have anything, any specific vice that he's gotten. I don't know what caused that to happen. I'm looking around trying to see if there's any like visual cue for me to figure out what's going on with my public order, but holy hell, that is a freaking huge problem. I'm about to lose a bunch of territories. Um, hmm. I just can't imagine what happened there that I lost so much public order. So, I need to manage this. This is going to take some poking around. My financial situation is about to get fucked pretty badly. And I don't have enough troops in many of these places to maintain public order. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to lose like half of my provinces. This is insane. I can't even tell if there was a visual cue to show me what happened there. And 
I don't know if this has to do with loyalty from my generals. So I'm gonna have to prioritize which places I'm going to try to hold here. I definitely wanna focus on getting troops into my Oh my God. Definitely want to focus on getting troops into my um, main troop production areas. I mean, it, it literally seems like I'm going to lose ha over half my provinces at this point. Well, okay, this I can keep on high. So. Nobody's objectives changed, so it doesn't seem like there's a date marker. I can't tell if me skipping through some of those notifications that I got made me miss something. So we went to war with the Polish, but I don't see how that could have changed much. So we're going to have to abandon some places, so I think Greece we're going to have to bag. What's going on financially? Holy hell. This is about to get ugly. Alright, where are we going to abandon? I want to maintain some ports. Let's take a look at our financial situation. So where is our huge income coming from? Constantinople, Antioch, Kiev, Sicily. Hmm. Man, if anyone's watching this and understands what just happened, I would I would love to know because this is whew, this is not looking good. So Kiev I have under control. Constantinople I do not. Honestly, I'm I'm thinking I back up to here and use Constantinople as a choke point. I need to get troops into. Here, here, here. Where else? Antioch, I think, was another one. So we'll get this guy into Antioch. I do want to hold rum in Armenia if I can. Oh my gosh, this is insane. So, let's say Armenia is a pretty low value province. Let's see what happens if you do this. So, wrong. Put this in a good place there. Do that, okay. Yeah, at this point, I just gotta pick and choose where I'm gonna, where I'm gonna keep. I do want to have Sicily, so shit, I can't even get my king off of my Sultana for Sardinia. Because the damn port's down. So it's going to be four turns till I can get him out of there. Uh, where else did I want to keep? So Antioch, we've got. Constantinople, we've got. I wish you could sort. Oh, you can. I never knew you could do that. Keep Serbia, we want to keep. Serbia, Tripoli. Serbia we got. Tripoli, okay. So what if we abandon Syria completely? And Palestine. 
Oh my goodness. Arabia's gone anyways. You know, one thing that I, I actually didn't even think much about is I wonder how many rebels are going to arrive. I wonder if they're going to be puny puny forces that, that come to try to take some of these provinces. But because I'm not sure if that's the case, I'm going to keep Lithuania and Kiev and seal this border because I, do I don't want anybody else coming in and, and being able to compete for these provinces. So... That's something to keep in mind. Novgorod's, yeah, I mean, I could I could really try to fine tune this, but I'm not gonna go through all that. I've got the provinces I wanna keep control over for the most part. This is about to be a freaking bloodbath over here. Hmm. I wonder if I just abandon these islands. No one else is gonna be taking these things. So I think I'm gonna abandon these islands and send troops over to protect Egypt. Sicily, we need to, oh my goodness. I don't think it's gonna be possible for us to hold Sicily given the troops that we have available. I mean, I could, could ban in Rome. That's 68%. Yeah, what if we abandon Rome? Venice is actually still holding. So what if we take let's say a couple troops out of here. That's enough, okay. Then we'll maintain the we'll maintain a seal on Italy so we can retake that eventually. The thing that I'm gonna be curious to see is how does this affect my income? So right now I'm at negative two thousand eight hundred and I'm about to lose so many provinces that that's gonna dip further down. Can you sort by loyalty? Damn, you can't. Hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna end this turn and we'll see what happens here. This could get ugly. Hmm. Oh man, they're, they're getting ready to move in here. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that was just a absolutely absurd amount of rebellions, but yeah, and the public order's still down. So even the places that didn't rebel, I mean, it's gonna happen. So we went from negative 2,000, so we didn't even lose that much income. So why do these guys not get to move? That's confusing to me. Oh, never mind. I left these guys here to, to maintain control over Serbia. Okay, so at least I kept the places I really wanted to. One turn away from another thing of training. Man, I lost a lot of money. Uh, I need to figure out how to manage my finances. Where can I get rid of troops? Raise taxes here. I wonder if that had to do with me having, I almost wonder if you have taxes set 
to very high if there is a preset number of turns at which if the garrison size isn't a certain value, then there's a huge drop in public order. Because that's the first time that I can remember seeing a notification saying that high taxes or low, oh, what was it, low loyalty or something like that. Low, no, high taxes or low zeal, something along those lines, along with low garrison size was a contributing factor. So now we gotta readjust taxes in all the places I do have control over. We gotta really pay attention to all these places, so questioning what I should be doing here. Should I be trying to retake some of these places? Let's take a quick look back at the... What am I trying to figure out? Income, Constantinople, Antioch. So anywhere that the, that the public order is really high, I'm going to fiddle with. So Constantinople's at 200%. I am going to leave a full stack here because this is going to end up being a border that I need to protect. I Unfortunately, I think I'm going to need to abandon Bulgaria and Greece. Serbia is a trade hub, so I'll keep that. Constantinople is a trade hub and just a powerhouse in general. So I need to hold this. But where else can I pull troops out of that I have high levels of loyalty? Nicaea. And the name of the game is basically hold Egypt and hold Constantinople. That is where I find myself here. I don't want to move troops out of because we're bored of the Mongols. Rome, we lost. So maybe we. Where does Rome compare to the Papal States? Papal States doesn't do shit for us, so let's leave that. Let's take back Rome. There's Tuscany. Tuscany's. Not too much, anyways. Mm. Wow, Rome is going to be, oof, that's going to be a mission to, to try to keep control over. So we'll move these fellas in here as well. So, okay, public order is back in Rome. So we'll take this back pretty easily. Where else? So Bulgaria, Bulgaria is another one. Maybe we try to hold that with, with these guys. Can we still keep Constantinople? So this is basically gonna be how I'll determine where we're gonna allocate troops to. I wanna find the highest income places and maintain loyalty as reasonably as I can. And anything that's not earning me a bunch of money, I mean, some of these places I have tons of, oh, Sinai, not Egypt, what am I? Egypt is over here. I keep saying I'm defending Egypt. I'm defending Sinai. 
bordering Egypt. This would be a nice place to take. You see the income here, and if they had trade set up, this, this place would be booming. I should take this province once I defend from this crusade. There's just gonna be a, a freaking huge battle over here. I'm assuming they'll attack soon. I'm, I'm kind of surprised they haven't. But maybe they're trying to gather up more troops. You can see a lot of these troops have been recently moved in this province. So they're probably gonna strike either, either next turn or soon because they've, they've got the majority of their forces gathered up here from what I can see. So where are we at time-wise? Damn, I'm already at 20 minutes. All right, so I think that's a good place to stop for now. This has been a pretty interesting turn. Just a lot of uh, a lot of damage control going on. So I might do I might continue doing some more of that in the next turn. I think I've gotten most of the troop movement around that I want to. You know, there's only so many more forces that I can move around to protect my my higher income provinces. So we'll continue doing a little bit more optimization, but I don't want to kill a ton of time doing that. But anyways, it'll be curious to see what the French end up doing in the next couple turns. That's going to be a huge, a huge piece of this puzzle, as well as the Hungarians. I think the Northeast is secure. I don't think they're going to try to push through here, given I've got double stacks. But uh, we shall see. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next episode. And uh, thanks again.